I'm doing some little pre-rehearsal interviews this evening and the first one is with Michael Self who plays the role of Doc in Crimes of the Heart which opens on Friday um, um, August the 9th so here we go the first uh, question I have for you Mike is tell me a little bit about your journey to the stage I know you're you're a teacher you're um, you have your own business and you also are a musician tell us a little bit about why the stage how did you get to to the stage it started with uh, meeting Bill at a fundraiser uh, for the theater and we were the band we got hired as the band to play it and Bill was gonna play some shows with or play a couple songs with us and that's how I met him and from that point we just kind of hit it off I was sitting in a show for the, his Christmas show, and it was his show, My Favorite Christmas, and I, he sat me down on the front row right by where the couch would be, saying the an actor was gonna end up right there. Just bother him, I just give me a little. He said, about by, by uh, intermission, says, I have a show for you. And I said, Bill, I don't have time for shows, I'm a musician, I don't have time for that. And uh, the first show, he, uh, he kept telling me he had the show for me, and it was the Fantastics. And I, somehow he talked me into it. I, I, w I got to the show, I was scared to death, it's terrifying because you don't get to hide behind a band and a guitar. You just stand up and sing to a crowd, and that was terrifying to me. Um, but uh, that, that's what got it started. And then it just got into, I, I did a show right after that immediately, and I just kind of got into the, the bug. Uh, I did. I have squelched it a little bit. I only do like a show, about a show a year now, but uh, that's what started it. And Billy just saying, hey, um, I got a show I want he you to do. He doesn't take no for an answer. No, he does not. <laughs> As a teacher, we have a lot of young people who uh, love to watch these these vlog videos, and so give us um, what would be your tip for some of the young actors who um, are wanting some great information from some of the more seasoned actors. Get the experience you can while you can. I had a lot of opportunity in high school and didn't take it because I, I was doing other things. Well, I do a lot of things now, but I find the time to do it. If you're interested in do it, pursue it. Um, there's a, every high school's got a drama department. I think you should take advantage of it if you are interested in it. But don't stop there because the local theater is a completely different environment than a drama class at high school. I'm not saying anything wrong with it. I, I think there's some, a lot of merit to, to having you know different viewpoints and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pursue it. If you want to do it, do it. Um, as a guy that's an older guy that didn't do it in high school, I uh, did a little bit of dabbling in film stuff in my 20s because I just thought that was cool. And then not doing anything really from that point all the way till now. I mean, starting with Bill, I guess I've been working with Bill, what, eight years, something like that? So my first show I did, how long ago was Fantastic? I don't know, eight years ago. But uh, uh, I wish I had had that. I wish I would had, Bill is an excellent coach. Bill is an excellent teacher and has no problem doing that as a director, being a teacher, as a director, yeah. you know, he's really good at that. I've learned more just by doing that than anything else. Okay, now tell me about Crimes of the Heart. What is your biggest takeaway from this this play and this, this show, without being a spoiler? That when you work with professionals, things get done. The other cast members in this show are so good. The women in this show are incredible. Um, they, 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 they know their lines so fast that there's no time spent on script. We've got movie fellows way quickly and, and, we're, and we're working on characterizations and blocking and making the show perfect. And these girls are, are wonderful. My biggest takeaway is that I've never been in a show where the week before the last week of rehearsals, you're not on script at all. You're not even working on that at all. You've already done a full run of the show and you're just working on little pieces and parts again. Let's run the show again and find some other pieces and parts. It's, uh, I've never been in a show like that. Uh, even with Bill, I've never been in a show like that. And that was, uh, my biggest takeaway so far is working with these women because they are awesome. Michelle. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your time.